I produced gasoline from deposit bottles and used it to operate a chainsaw. For that, a whole bunch of deposit bottles first have to be run through a shredder. Most deposit bottles are made of PET, a type of plastic whose roots initially lie in crude oil. Crude oil can be used to produce gasoline, so the connection from PT to gasoline isn't that far-fetched. Quite simple. PET just needs to be broken down into its chemical components. And I do that through pyrolysis, which means heating it intensely in the absence of oxygen. The shredded deposit bottles are placed into a large pot resting on a gas burner. And here's what happens in the pot now. The plastic breaks down into three things. New solids, liquids, and gases. What's particularly interesting to us are the combustible liquids, which can later be used as fuel. And this is what the extracted fuel looks like. Not exactly like gasoline yet, but more like pizza soup. But crude gasoline is just one step away. A distillation. I pour the pyrolysis product into a flask and start the distillation on our best hot plate. After the distillation, we finally have crude gasoline, which burns extremely well. Typically, gasoline combustion produces a lot of soot, which turns the glass black. Let's see how the chainsaw purrs with this stuff now. Oh, awesome! Yes, it totally worked. That's absolutely insane. I can't believe it.